Hey guys, and welcome to my review of the 100 scale VF-19 Kai Firebacker. This kit was released in 1995, at the same time Macro 7 was airing, so it's pretty old. And one interesting thing is that you can roll. Uh, the material they use is palm, which is the same material that they used in the uh, Purple Grade Unicorn with some of the, with the joints. So, apparently when it's used with its own self, it's loose. Uh, interesting to know. And that just came undone. Um, that's my fault. That doesn't typically come undone, but I'm guessing the pegs are f starting to wear out. Anyways, full side landing gear, but they don't continue all the way on the inside. It's, this one is just on the door itself. This one is actually on the inside. And you put it away, just put that in and flip these in. And for these, just put them down close. They have a little shield came off. They have a little bit sticking out so that you can just put your fingernail underneath and pull it out. Which is nice. And the gun is actually integrated with no extra parts. The connection is actually built into the gun. So, like, Ben and I was able to do this, I don't know how many years ago. Nearly two decades. Of and one thing I'm gonna talk about fighter mode is that it um side view. Um, you can see joint more of the shoulder than you should. <clears throat> the wing roots should be able to flow up to the chest, not stop halfway, and you shouldn't be able to see the yellow vents. And even when you have a push down, that's not really easy to do. In the back section here, the shield looks off because it doesn't take up the whole section. They went for more in battle art mode. They went for more of a line art look, or what you see in the art and artwork look. So they made a couple compromises, and it transforms. So that, that's a compromise too. You got one big compromise right here. <laughs> you need this for the Batroid. So, yeah. I think they could have done perfect transformation if they weren't going for the look, line art look with the stumpy little abdomen here. And stickers. You got black one here, two green ones here, the two lightning bolts here, two yellow ones here for the chest, two green on the side, the two black ones here, the yellow here, the two wristbands here. And you could choose to take these off, I choose to leave them on, just to make it more perfect transformation. And on the head, the two yellow lines here, the whole gray bit with the bolts is, lightning bolts is a sticker. Green camera is a sticker, the mouth here is a sticker, the eyes are a sticker, and you get an alternate face with the faceplate closed, and the eyes there are stickers. On the extra bit here for girl walk mode, these yellow bits are stickers, and for some reason on the main body bit, this is the two bits on the side are metallic red stickers. I don't know why. And they even make the wristbands metallic red. I don't know why. How do I get, why, why did they do this? <laughs> why did they do this? Anyways, the fighter mode is bleh. <laughs> it's alright. Now for girl walk mode, take the shield off, gun off, and unpeg the legs here. And bring the wings up. Bring the things down for now. Just <clears throat> bring this knee down, but you actually have your own girl walk joint here on the front. I just took this piece off by accident, and it actually has a locking point. There you go. And just open the feet and repeat onto the other side. All right, now we're done it on both legs. I'm gonna do, make this easy for myself and just bring the torso up a little bit, like that much. Un, that came off. Undo the arms here, bring them forward, like you would on any Valkyrie of this type. Bring the arms down, and there's a lot of joints here on the elbow section, so this is the that this is the preferred configuration. I like them. Reattach the leg if it fell off. These pegs are finally starting to weaken, huh? And I've transformed this guy a lot. And you have girl walk mode. For 
some reason on all of my Valkyries, there's always one side that looks kind of limp. And this guy kind of has it, but it's not as big as, say, the VF. VF-25 I have. And the there's a peg in the shield and a hole in the arm that was used in fighter mode, so just plug it in. Put away the the adapter here for fighter mode and try to get the handle out if your fingers aren't too fat. And when you bring it down, there's actually a locking point. Just push it forward, and it won't go in unless you pull it back. And there it is. We have a jump girl lock. And there's no special connection into the hand. And these hands are the old 90s ones, so they feel like they've worn out a little bit since I've since I've put them together, but not a whole ton. So do with that what you will. I still recommend kind of replacing them, but then again, no other mecha I can think of has these strips on the hand, so. And almost forgetting, you gotta take that flap off and put the one with the uh, fin. And there you go. That's a good rock mode. I'm gonna try to go over arm articulation. Or see, just look at, look at it. It's gonna be easier for me in uh, Batroid mode. So, sorry. One thing I will make a note of is that these red bits here. I'm pretty sure the knee could bend a lot more on this joint. Well, I know for a fact it can if you break these off, these extra red bits off. And you don't see these in any other mode unless you have a display like this. But that's stupid. Well, granted, I am stupid. <laughs> but I'm not going to display it like that. And so you kind of get the idea of the size. But Valkyries are, are pretty small machines. Here's a 100 scale grade. Yeah. And that's just in Girl Walker mode. And here's a Grace Kai. This guy's just been an to 100 scale. And you need him for the Ritter. Ah, Bandai. You know how to print your own money, don't you? Uh, anyways, into Battle Rig mode. Take this bit off. Take off the legs. Take off the legs. The gun might fall off. Just straighten out the leg again. Bend this back. And do whatever you want with the cow more hip thingy. I'm going to attach this onto the extra bit now. Make this a bit easier because they're just going to be flopping over. Now for the other bit here. Just bring the nose come down. Bring this up. And you do the characteristic thing of the 19s and just like bring the body over the uh, cockpit but you need legs so you need to find a way to wedge this in there and peg it down make sure it's pegging in right because you shouldn't be able to see that joint in there there we go And get the head on. There's a bit blocking it. Hold up. I'll do with that later. And readjust the camera. And you got a fire Valkyrie. I'd say it looks pretty good. And I'm talk about one accessory. You get this extra box thing that you can stand them on. If you have any of the Transformers Prime First Edition, this is pretty much exactly what you got, except it's a box instead of a rock. As I said before, this looks nice, but it takes up way too much space. So, bye bye. Alright. <clears throat> Let's start with an idea of size. Here's the grace. These are small machines, 14 meters, I believe. Grace is 18, so seems about right to me. And here's the Grace card. Why do I need this for the rear? Anyways, <laughs> I'm totally not salty, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, heads on a ball joint, and the peg here can come obviously if you overwork the ball joint. And you can look to the side. 
What are you doing, Milan? What are you doing? Head can go on a 360. And the antenna here, I'll make this easier. The antenna here can rotate, but if they feel a little too tight, rotate at the base. Like if they're loose enough, just use go like this. But if it's too tight, just go use your fingers here. <clears throat> if words aren't if I sound like I can't think of words easily, that's because I can't can't. Because my brain is still asleep. Kind of. Anyways, this bit here can move out, this can go up and down. And the shoulders actually separate from the arm, so you can get 360. You're just gonna have to rotate, you know, the arm with the shoulder, or the shoulder with the arm. Arms can go out about that far. You could count this as articulation, or use it if you want. <clears throat> rotation at the elbow. Rotation at the elbow of the first joint. Bend at the first joint. Rotation at the second joint, bend at the second joint, and bend at the third joint. <laughs> a triple jointed elbow, everybody. Like to bend the first joint, use the one on the inside, and then use the second one. So you still get the same ki kind of bend, just not as disjointed. And if you want, you can use this to give the v VF19 an extendo punch, because why not? Wrist are on a ball joint, shield can rotate if you need it to. <clears throat> no waist ro rotation. Depending how you have this thing angled backward, you could get more backward artic back articulation. And a little bit more forward. You can do kick up. His head fell off. Legs can go about that far, but that's kind of the same for every Valkyrie due to the, the hip design. And if you don't want to move the thing forward, you could always use the girl walk joint. 90 degree bend. <clears throat> hip, cow more hip thing is on a ball joint. You can go backward if you want. You can deploy the wing if you want. Feet are on ball joints. You can go side to side due to, they can only go a little bit side to side due to the, <clears throat> the yellow design here. And you can point the toes down if you want. They don't open any more, any more than they do here. So I'd say articulation is pretty good, and you can get some good poses with this guy. But is he worth? It? Well, let me get him with his faceplate. Forgot to mention it. And I'm gonna need someone to take it off real quick. Um, Prime. Thanks, Prime. And <clears throat> sending him aside before he rips off any more faces. Here he is with the mask. Just with the mask. <clears throat> and one thing I meant to talk about is stand conductivity, and you can't really use him with the action base two. You, you can attach an action base one, it's just be like you're popping off the crutch bit here a little bit. And it can still come off real easy, so be careful. The question you're most likely asking is, is he worth it? Honestly, depends what budget you're on, honestly. <laughs> if you don't have any budget and you're willing to buy any sort of Valkyrie at any price, honestly get the Arcadia or the Yamato. They're league in they're leagues above this one. Um, if you're looking for one 100 scale, I get the high metal. It's an, it has less parts forming. Well, I think the same number of parts forming less mass of parts for me, I think would be the good term. Because you don't need this big chest bit here in the high metal. So, <clears throat> honestly I say only get this guy if you're curious. And they did release a Blazer Valkyrie, the uh, Emerald Force Blue. So thanks for watching, um, like the video if you did, comment if you have something to say, subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. And, uh, take care.